Do you need to upscale your images? Do you scan your images and want to enhance them with a fast way? Then let's try Gigapixel AI's newest version, version 7. That could be an answer for you. Hi, it's Peter here. And before we get into the business, a disclaimer. I've been beta testing this software for about a month now, so I have some knowledge of how it works and how good it is. But the software that I'm showing today is the uh, final version and I bought it because I found it to be quite useful for me. So all I say is based on my usage of the software for a little while and I've been using Topaz, uh, for, uh, Topaz Labs uh, software for quite some time. I've used Denoise and used Photo AI, which is my main enhancement software at the moment. I use Photo AI as a plugin and Gigapixel the same way. They are slightly different and I, I will compare the results with Photo AI too. But let's look at what is new. Here is the whole list of the new things that Gigapixel AI version 7 has. And I think the biggest one is the renewed and faster AI. It's a lot faster than the previous version. And the new UI is quite similar to Photo AI. So it's more familiar to use. You, you have the tools at the same place and it works with the same way as Photo AI. Of course, the tools are slightly different, but I will get into that a bit later. And what is good about Gigapixel AI is that it works as a standalone software and as a plugin for Lightroom Classic and Adobe Photoshop. So you don't need two separate softwares. It's the same software for both. And I mainly use it for uh, as a, or, or as a plugin for Lightroom. And then a few user cases. What would I use or what will I use this software for? Well, the first of all is that upscaling images if I need to crop. I have this image and actually I do have a video about the making of this image or the idea of this image and how I upscale it and, and how it looked after upscaling. And just a short story. I saw this man on in front of this restaurant from across the street. It was a busy intersection with, uh, with some cars and I couldn't just, you know, go closer. And if I had gone the situation has gone. So I just took this shot from far away and then I cropped it and upscaled it with Gigapixel AI version 7. And as you see, the results are quite good. There is no big problems. And I used the automatic settings from for Gigapixel AI and found it to be quite good on this. And that's what I always do at the beginning. I, I try how the software works with its default settings and then I start to tweak. If I see something I start to tweak and if I don't see anything then I'm totally fine with the automated workflow which is always good if, if I have uh, you know have to uh, spend less time on a computer it's, it's a lot better that way and then I wanted to compare this to photo AI the image and I have to say that photo AI gave me slightly better results gigapixel AI makes the image a bit sharper in many cases but photo AI image looks slightly more natural. It's more organic in my opinion, but this is just something that I prefer. You might prefer something different. So look at yourself, how, how that thing goes. Another one is uh, enhancing and upscaling scanned images. And that's a, that's a huge thing that this software can do really well. Enhancing the slightly soft scans that you make from your uh, films and, and slides. And I've used this for my images. I don't do film that much, but uh, some film photography every now and then, and I use this all the time for that, or I used to have photo AI, or I still have it, but I used to use that more, and, and now I've tested the Gigapixel, and it does a fairly good job. But I have to say that photo AI on this one too gave slightly better results, in my opinion. This might be that I still haven't figured out the best way to use Gigapixel AI, the version 7, compared to Photo AI, which I've used a lot more. I haven't used Gigapixel since Photo AI was introduced because I've found it to be slightly more convenient. It can do a bit more than Gigapixel. But if you don't have Photo AI and you already have Gigapixel version 6, then of course upgrading to, to version 7 is a wise thing to do. But other than that, if you don't have either, then I would, I would prefer Photo AI, to be honest. It, gives me better results. Let's talk more about Gigapixel AI versus Photo AI. They are slightly different software. Photo AI can do 
a bit more things. It has a bit more tools and more adjustments in that sense. And I'm not really sure why they actually upgraded Gigapixel AI version to, to version 7 because it has been upgraded for a year. The Gigapixel 6 was was launched, I think, over a year or two ago. And now they haven't updated that for a year. And all of a sudden they make that. I don't really know why because I thought that they will be concentrating only on photo AI, which would make a lot of sense and have the uh, AI and the algorithm that's put into Gigapixel AI into photo AI. I don't know why I didn't do that. But yeah, it's it's more options for you if you don't want to get the whole software. And maybe the price difference is also something that if you only need in, uh, for upscaling, then Gigapixel might be the one. But if you want to have better results, then I would use photo AI. At least for my images, it, it was slightly better. And of course, the best thing is that if you combine these two because some parts with gigapixel were sharper and and crispier and better looking but then it also gave me some artifacts which photo ai did not do so combining these two could be the best solution if you have only few images that you need to upscale and you want to have the absolute best image quality if that is required but i don't think that is something that uh, really should be done unless you are really into tacked sharp and crispy and all that type of images and it's totally fine yeah sometimes that is needed please let me know if what if what do you think about this new version of gigapixel have you used it before or do you prefer photo ai or or do you, you don't have any experience tell us that too because that's also interesting and what and actually do you do any upscaling at all do you need it at all please let us know in the comments down below be interesting to hear and i do have affiliate links for both of these software if you if you need their links are in the description down below and the affiliate links of course you don't pay any extra but i do get a small commission so it's a win-win situation you support my free content and you get a good piece of software to enhance your images and the price the gigapixel ai 7.0 is normal price 99 and if you already have gigapixel then it's 79 so not a bad price i think it's a very cost effective for what it is and good value for money in my opinion but of course if you don't need it then don't spend money on stuff that you don't need just for the heck of it that's that's not a, a wise thing to do and uh, i've made some content about gigapixel and topaz lab software before so you might want to watch those to learn some more about these really great pieces of software but hey thanks for watching and bye for now